Okay, so today's video is on multiplying using the area model. One thing to remember is that if you remember back to the adding video with the area model, you only have to draw one diagram. So again, looking at the floors and the rooms, you only draw one diagram. Similarly with the multiplication, you only draw one diagram. So if I was to have a fraction, I'm just going to give you an example right here. If I was to have a fraction, um, my first number, so my denominator from my first uh, fraction would be the number of floors. And remember, floors are horizontal, so my building has two floors. Um, and the denominator from my second fraction is the number of rooms. And so my building has four rooms on each floor. Okay, one thing that's a, a good way to remember this is the when you're, when you're shading in, the denominator from the first fraction always is in a horizontal way. So you always shade it in in a horizontal way. So if you were shading it, it would be horizontal. Whereas the denominator from the second fraction would always be in a vertical. So you'd be always shading in vertically going down. So we're going to look at our first example. And again, like always, I want you to try it with me as I'm doing it. So that way you can get some practice out of this. So we take our first denominator and our second denominator. And we say we need to draw our diagram, so our building. So my building here has eight floors. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a building with eight floors. And I think that's eight. Let me just give you a quick count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. And each floor has four rooms. So I'm cutting that into four segments. Now with multiplication, the reason we only need one diagram is you're going to be coloring or shading in everything on the same diagram. So for my first fraction, my, uh, the numerator that I'm going to be shading in goes, again, like I said earlier, travels in a uh, vertical, sorry, a horizontal fashion. So 4 eighths would be, we're going to color in, that's 1 eighth, 2 eighths, 3 eighths, and 4 eighths. And my second fraction again travels in a vertical manner. So again, two fourths, so I'm going to start crossing out two fourths. So that's one fourth, and that is two fourths. Now with multiplication, the number that you end up using as your numerator is you look at your building and you say, where have I put circles and X's? And you notice that these rooms right here are the rooms where I put circles and X's. So this turns into my numerator, my top number. So how many is that? Let's count it out. That's 4 and 4, 8. So my numerator is 8. My denominator turns out to be the number of all the rooms in the building. So all the rooms is what gives me my denominator and that's the bottom number. And so how many rooms all together? 4 times 8 is 32. So your fraction is 8 over 32. Again, we always reduce our fraction. So we say, well, how, can I be, how this, can this be reduced? Again, we can say we divide both by 8. 8 divided by 8 is 1. 32 divided by 8 is 4, so it's 1 fourth. Now, that's what I get when I use a diagram. Again, I'm going to show you using just the actual equation, so you can say that it's the exact same thing. So with multiplication, you know the rule is simply to multiply straight forward. So you take the two numerators and you multiply. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 4 is 32. I got the same answer, and again, I would reduce it in the exact same way that I did the other one. And I have 1 over 4. And you'll notice that both my answers, using both methods, turn out to be exactly the same. So I'm going to do one more example with you, and then the next one you're going to try on your own. So again, I want you to try this one again as I'm doing it. So go ahead and start drawing your model, and I'm going to start sketching in my model at the same time. So my building has three floors, and again, I'm going to put in three floors. Each floor has four rooms. So there we go. My building has three floors and four rooms. So my first uh, numerator gets filled into... Uh, again, the horizontally, so horizontally onto my diagram. So again, that's one third, and that's two thirds. So that's two thirds from here into filled into there. And my second um, numerator gets filled into my vertical line, and so I'm going to fill that in with x's, and that's one fourth. 
So what's the answer that we're looking for? Again, like I said earlier, with, the, with multiplication, it's really easy. You say, where did I put circles and x's? And I put it in 2, so that is my numerator. So my numerator equals 2. And the number of all of the rooms in the building is going to be my denominator. So the number of all the rooms in this building is going to be 12. So again, 4 and 4, 8 and 8 and 4, 12. So two, uh, four, 2 over 12. And again, as always, we say, let's see if we can reduce it. I know that they can both, both be reduced by dividing into 2. So I'm left with 1 6. And we'll do it one more time using the method that we already know, our original method. So I say 2 times 1 is 2. Four 3 times 4 is 12. And again, I got the same number, and I reduce it in the exact same manner. And I am left with 1 over 6, which is exactly the same for both methods. Now this is the last one, and again, I want you to try it yourself first. So pause the video, come back to it, and take a look at how you did. Okay, welcome back, and now that you're back with me, I'm going to go ahead and go through this really quickly. So if I was drawing my diagram, I know that my building has five floors. So I'm going to put in my five floors. It's two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. And each floor has four rooms. So again, four rooms. And if you can't remember where I got those, again, this is my number of floors. This is the number of rooms, right? There you go. Now my first numerator gets put into the horizontal. So if I'm filling in two uh, two fifths. So I'm going to circle that in. That's one fifth. And that is two fifths. And then my second numerator for my second fraction gets filled in vertically. So that is three fourths. So I'm going to start scratching out or Xing out three fourths. That's one fourth, two fourths, and three fourths. And I go back to my diagram and I say, where did I do circles and X's? And very easily I can tell that I did circles and X's together right here. So my numerator is 6. And how many is my denominator? So I go back and I say, how many rooms are there in this building altogether? I take a look at the greater whole and I say, oh, well, there's altogether 20 rooms in this building. So my fraction is 6 over 12. Again, I say I know that this fraction can be reduced. And so I go ahead and I divide both by 2 and I end up with 3 over 10. Similarly, let's do the top so we can see how this would work if you were doing it in a normal way. So 3 times 2 is 6, 5 times 4 is 20, and again I ended up with the same fraction and I reduced it in the exact same way, and I'm left, over, left with sorry, 3 over 10. I hope this video is pretty self-explanatory and hopefully you got this concept. I want you to watch the next video as well on division, and that way you will have addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, all four, using the area model.